Hi everyone, Mike here from Robart. We're going to do a follow-up today on the onboard air pump. Hi everyone, Mike here from Robart and we're going to follow up with the last video where I just introduced you to our part number 164OB, which is the onboard air pump. And what I put together here is a quick little pneumatic system. All it is is we're just going to fill up this air tank so that you can see the pump working. And then I've got a pair of hemostats holding off the air so that um, when I release the air, you can see how this works. So I do want to repeat myself in the last video. You come, it does come with a car charger as well as a USB. So you can see this red light on the USB. That indicates that uh, it is still charging. I did charge this uh, last week, and so we are picking up some additional uh, power right here. Also, what I do wanna show you though, is that it does turn green. So when you turn green here, that indicates that it is fully charged. All right, so I just unplugged it to show that it was green, but that does color. The uh, car charger does not have a coloration. The first time you use it, please disregard whether that's green or red, either way, just disregard that. Charge this from seven to 12 hours. All right, well, so let's get this thing working. All right. So next here, what you're gonna do is to turn it on, you go ahead and you hit that set button. So the set button will turn it on. The up and down arrows here are disengaged because the PSI is pre-programmed from 75 PSI up to 105 PSI. So then to operate it, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and hit the power button. And this is gonna fill. And then what it's going to do here is it's depending on which type of gauge you'd like, PSI, bar, so on and so forth, it will continue to fill up to 105 PSI. We'll go ahead and just let this fill all the way up. And the nice thing about this is that we're doing this video, it will give you a time frame here also of how long it will take you to fill up this tank when you're at the flight line. So there we go, at 105 PSI. So what I'm gonna do with the hemostats here is, let's see if I can just balance this up so you can see this. And just stay there for me, or not. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just release some air. And so then we can get some, there you go. So once it got down to 75 PSI, it went ahead and it's gonna recharge. So as you're doing your touch and goes and things of that nature, you can go ahead and be confident that your air tank is completely full. So again, if you did not hear me while the pump was running, this is great for the flyer who likes to do a lot of touch and goes. Somebody who doesn't want to carry a air pump uh, to the flight line, they just want to go ahead and hit a button, fill up your pneumatic system. That's how, that is, uh, this this pump is excellent for just install it into the plane and you're good to go So now to turn this off go ahead and hold down the set button and uh, Two Four five you may have what you what I did as you can see is I hit the set button released and then hit the set button held it down and now it's turned off All right so real quick for installation wise, I did not go over this earlier, but your, the parts that come with, you got your heat disperser, you, plug, you screw that into the pump, high temp airline and a retaining nut, hold that in there. You do have to use your high temp airline. The air coming out of this is very hot. If you do not use a high temp airline and you just use your general airline that either Robart or anybody else would provide, it will actually blow that airline. 
So for any questions, give us a call at 630-584-7616. Check us out online at robart.com or follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest.